Most people are not really hurt by the world. They're hurt by their own expectations. But what hurt him was not the world. It was his expectations. He expected people to lean more toward science and less toward metaphysics. And he suspected that the system would be would gather intelligence and know the right direction. So what really hurt him was his own expectations. The real answer to that question is whatever happens in the world is real. What you think should happen is not real. So you're not disappointed by the world. You're disappointed by your own projections. The way to look at a person is I don't know enough about them to make a judgment. And in time, when you make a judgment, uh, you say, up to now, they appear to be so-so. But uh, something may come back that reminds them of something else. So they hurt you. They really don't hurt you. They're normal. That is normal to their values. Like my mother would believe in religion because is normal to her background. And when things get tough, she prays, rather than, because she doesn't know what else to do. What you have to do is take time out and try to inform people as to how to look at things. It may take you two or three years to do that. But we would expect to find people that understand what we say. When they shake their head, I guess, that doesn't mean they understand. It means they understand a limited amount. So the point is, what are your expectations? So if a person wants to be more analytical, they have to learn how to say, I don't know, or up to now, everything seems to be okay. My relationship seems to work out in many different areas or more areas than I expected. Sometimes we're pleasantly surprised by the reaction of people we had a negative view of. I may have a negative view of you, but in time, observing what you do, my negative view becomes a positive view. But if I have a negative view, it means I was projecting. I really don't know. So the point is, when events occur, that are tough. If a person deserts you at that time, you understand that they can't live under those conditions. So remember, it's your own expectations that hurt you, not the world you live in. Whatever happens in the world is real. What you think should happen is unreal. So people are hurt by their expectations. Any questions about that? If you have reasonable expectations, such as I don't know, then whatever happens, you say, gee, I didn't think it would be that bad. How do you know how bad it would be? So what does man really want? He really wants accurate predictability. You cannot achieve that unless you're technical. Accurate predictability. If an engine fails, it means there's something wrong with a fuel pump or any number of things. If you can't attend to those things, then the probability is that at some time or other, the engine will fail. Now, I don't expect you to walk around accepting everything that happens. I expect you to be angered and say, what can I do about it? I don't know, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to make it possible for people not to be injured. I'm going to try to design a conveyor that's on the tracks and under the tracks that's locked. So even in an amusement park, the loop-to-loop -loop can't go off the tracks because it's got under braces. But the under braces may be perfect, but the structure of the unit may not be. So to the ability of an individual to handle all those things is very difficult. But he only knows, or she only knows, what to handle after the event. Do you think in order? The event has to occur first, then the person makes a safety device. 
and he solved that problem. But there may be other problems, and another event may occur that's negative. And the person says, what can I do about it? I don't know enough about it. I'm going to read up on it and try to become familiar with the nature of the problem and try to solve it. And when a person says to you, have you solved it? This is the device I made in an attempt to solve it. Will it work? Well, according to the tests I did, it will. But in reality, it was cold and the oil didn't flow, so the thing wasn't lubricated and it didn't work. There are other factors you learn about later on. That's called after the facts. So some people get mad at technicians. They say, you're a technician. Why did that thing fail? What do you suggest? Is what you put to that person. If they say, you designed that unit and it failed. Yes, it did fail. Apparently, I didn't know enough about solving that problem. What do you suggest? Don't get mad at me. What do you suggest? You've done nothing but expect me to solve the problem. Our major concern is not profit. It's the well-being of human beings throughout the world. To the degree that we neglect people, we hurt our own future. For example, if we in the United States controlled most of the Earth's resources, we would produce anxiety in other countries for fear of running out of resources, arable land, water, etc. And therefore they might invade this country to try to get the necessary resources for survival. I don't think it's wise for a nation to defend itself or try to make sustainability available only in the area that they live, because they would produce hatred and envy and try to control the resources of other countries so that they, we can enslave people or put them on minimum wage and get whatever we want produced for the self-centered reason of our nation. And, and we seek national advantage rather than global advantage. As long as we seek national advantage, it may work for a while. It may enhance the lifestyles or increase the productivity of goods and services. But that's not of long duration. This is the only thing I worry about. Sustainability for separate nations is okay in the short run, but in the long run it produces negative retroaction.